With stone mills compared to roller mills, what kind of temperatures are we talking about with both types of milling? What, what are the peak, peak temperatures that, that they achieve? Well, the peak temperature actually is achieved during the actual nip of the roller mill. And, and the nip of the roller mill or the, or the stone is when the product is actually under grinding pressure. And so you, you get a, a peak increase in temperature there. The, for grinding effect, the peak uh, heat is probably about the same in each place. But the problem with a stone mill is it takes a considerable period of time for the product to traverse the, from the inner part of the stone mill to the outer part of the stone mill. And, and during that period of time, and it's a long period of time, uh, the, the heat is sustained and, and held. And, and so that's really the problem with, with a, a roller mill. Uh, the, the peak of contact and friction occurs momentarily and then immediately it's gone again and the conveying air can cool the product down. And so, with, as with most things, you know, uh, instantaneous heat is, is bearable for a period, uh, but the longer it stays, the greater the uh, degradation effect from that heat. And what kind of temperatures are we talking about, like 150 degrees? Oh no, no. <laughs> <laughs> the sort of temperature we're talking about is, is really sort of 60 degrees or 80 degrees Celsius, absolute maximum. Okay. And, and, uh, and that's all that happens and, and probably at worst it, it might be, uh, and, and that that's can't be measured perfectly because it's not possible to put a, measure, a temperature measuring equipment in that place at that time because it'd be destroyed. Uh, so typically all we can do is measure the product immediately after uh, and really it's, it's just basically warm. It never gets hot. To, it really, the product normally is about blood temperature, uh, is about the best way we can describe it. Uh, so, so typically it's, it's not extremely hot uh, and uh, I'm not so sure that uh, the um, reputed um, problems of degradation in, in either milling process are able to be properly substantiated anyway. I think it's probably more, uh, uh, not old folk style, but, but roughly the simple fact that uh, the nutrients are basically, if, if we look after each of the processes, properly, properly maintained.